In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to scroll to the bottom of any web page. This is especially useful when you're working with infinite scroll pages, which are those pages that continue to load more content once you reach the bottom. Some notable examples are sites like Twitter and Instagram. Let's have a look at an example. I'm just going to bring up Instagram. And let's scroll to the bottom of the page. In this case, there is a load more button. However, once I click it and I continue scrolling, you can see that more content continues to load as I scroll to the bottom of the page. If you wanted to scrape all the posts for this user, then you would need a way to scroll to the bottom of the page over and over. Luckily, this is pretty easy. However, it's probably not something you're going to want to memorize. So be sure to copy this down and I'll put it in the description for you. So in order to do this, we can call the run JavaScript command. Then all you need to do is copy and paste the code that's in the description of this video, hit OK, and watch what happens when I press run. You can see that the page scrolls to the bottom and more content loads. So now that we've seen the basic command, let's give it a shot and see how we can make a little program that just navigates here and scrolls to the bottom over and over. And from there you could of course go on and scrape the post or do whatever you wanted to do. So I'm just going to put this run JavaScript in a loop. We're just going to scroll five times. We're going to scroll to the bottom of the page. We're just going to wait for everything to be loaded. And then we're going to wait one second. So now let's run the program. Actually, one more thing before we do that. Let's put one more wait right there. I could have probably just put this above the run JavaScript to tell you the truth, but you know, I'm, this is just a quick example. So as you can see, it is now looping and scrolling to the bottom of the page over and over. It's loading more posts for this user, in which case we could then go on and do whatever we wanted, scrape the posts or like them, whatever you want to do with them. So as you can see, it's pretty quick and easy to do this. Once again, I put the code in the description, so be sure to save it somewhere for future use. That's all for this video. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.